New homes intended to help low-income families and revitalize Dayton are in the works. And New Center 7's Una Lee spent part of the day at a groundbreaking ceremony for Roosevelt Homes. New homeowners may be able to move in as early as this year. Construction has already begun for dozens of new homes. They're single-family homes, 15-year lease to purchase. Building foundations for homes and families. There's really a huge need in Dayton for affordable housing. There are so many families that need a place to, uh, to live, to raise their kids, um, and they're not making a lot. Maybe they're making minimum wage. Maybe uh, both parents are making minimum wage. And so this provides a, a place for that family to thrive and grow and really give them a great foundation. Development Corporation says a Roosevelt homes are geared for low-income families leased to purchase. People will live in them for 15 years paying an affordable rent and have the opportunity to purchase the home at the end of 15 years. He says the project is spurring the local economy. Not only provides it an affordable house for a family to live in, but it's really revitalizing Dayton because the total project is about $4.9 million of investment in this neighborhood. It's creating jobs. Yay! The celebration kicked off today with an official groundbreaking ceremony with numerous local leaders. Congressman Mike Turner also came to show his support. This is an important effort to continue uh, the, the restoration of our neighborhoods, bringing people back in the neighborhoods, building housing, you know, bringing that, that life back to the sidewalks and the streets. Barry Strongworn with the Community Action Partnership of Greater Dayton is hoping more Dayton families will take ownership of their homes and brighter futures. The home ownership always endows a certain system pride in, in that community and, and hopefully it will encourage those people to do better and to maintain those properties. And already there's interest. As soon as I, I came here today somebody drove up and asked for an application so that's a great sign. Construction will continue for the next few months and the first move-in ready homes will be available by December. Reporting in Dayton, Una Lee, News Center 7.